Hallelujah. Precious viewers all over the world. Today I want to open up the teaching and expound on the mighty doctrine of the Lord. The responsibility or the responsibilities of apostles in the body of Christ. We know very well and I've been teaching you about the callings of God which are irrevocable. God calls apostles. Even to this day, God is still calling apostles because the work has not ended. The church has not departed from this mother earth to heaven. Now, when the apostles are in the body of Christ, after being called, appointed, chosen, elected, separated, and anointed, and of course taught the way of the Lord, to carry out the responsibility of an apostle. Apostles are uh, special messengers, a responsible area that they cannot go missing on it. They are uh, responsible, special messengers to the body of Christ and the nations. Remember when Jesus came on the earth, he chose and called out men who are called the apostles. And when he had chosen and called them, he directed them on how to do ministry, taught them the way of the Lord, how to do ministry, and taught them much about the kingdom of God. In fact, he spoke to people in parables, but when he came to the apostles, he taught them plainly, because they were chosen and appointed by God as apostles through Christ Jesus. And he taught and expounded the kingdom of God to them. Explained, described, and made sure the kingdom of God for these people called the apostles. And when he sent them out, he did not just give them the authority to cast out demons, heal the sick, the leprotic to be cleansed, and then the, the deaf and the dumb to hear and uh, to resurrect the dead. But Jesus Christ uh, gave them a special message. He told them, as you go out, go ye preaching the kingdom of God. So the apostles were special messengers of Jesus Christ, of God unto the church but their special message was centered engineered designed programmed only to tackle the matters of the kingdom of God because it is the only kingdom worthy powerful unbeatable uncontestable and destroyable most glorious, the excellent kingdom of God, the holy kingdom of God. So they were sent out to go and do what we call deep teachings about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. And they went out. They preached, taught, explained many things about the kingdom of God. The apostle Paul says, Actually, day and night, I taught you about, and he says, matters of the kingdom of God. What, what, do, what do I mean? The apostles are assigned by God, Jesus Christ, to go and teach about the kingdom of God. The divine kingdom, the great kingdom. Of God the kingdom from above those are the Apostles and uh, this is the agenda that Jesus came and explained described and put into the hearts of the Apostles through teachings 
He made them sure about the kingdom of God. That there is the kingdom of God. The kingdom that is unbeatable, unshakable, undestroyable. The only kingdom that is holy above all kingdoms. Hallelujah. So, so this is the work of the apostles. The great mission of the so-called apostles in the body of Christ. In the church of Christ. They are there to preach the kingdom, teach the kingdom of God, explain, describe, and by signs and wonders, establish this kingdom in the hearts of men, in the hearts of people, nations, kingdoms of this world, must be kingdoms of our God. This is the work of the great mission of the apostles in the body of Christ. When we lack apostles in the body of Christ, or when they are there and they don't do this, or when we don't believe them, the body of Christ suffers malnutrition because there will be no deep teaching on the kingdom of God. There will be very simple arithmetic teachings, very simple teachings in the body because there is no apostle to teach, explain, describe, and dig deep into the matters of the kingdom of God. Remember that. So apostles are very important in the body of Christ. They are assigned to check on this, to put this in order. Matters of the kingdom of God to the body of Christ, the nations and the people of God. Hallelujah. Set another responsibility of the apostles as Jesus resurrected from the dead. Listen to me. In the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 28. This is another responsibility of the so-called apostles. Not to sell salt, anointed salt, anointed pens and handkerchiefs, anointed oil, anointed water, sprinkling water. Not to sell such things. Handkerchiefs, selling them all over. Towels of anointing, selling them. This is not apostolic ministry. This is another thing from hell. This is another thing, a business from hell. I repeat, a business from the bottom of hell. Listen to what the apostles were told to do. <laughs> I'm just making the way of the Lord in the church and in the nations of the earth. The Bible says in Genesis 28 verses 18, Jesus approached and breaking the silence, said to them, All authority, all power of rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go then. Do what? Go then. But what are you going to do? Yes. What are you going to do? Make disciples of all nations. The work of discipleship in the body of Christ is done by apostles. Mentorship, nurturing, gifts and talents and other callings in the body. The other missions in the body of Christ are nurtured, mentored, made strong, established and made, designed in the way of the Lord by the called, so-called, the holy apostles. That is what is the ordainment of them. That's the assignment. Their predestination was for this, to make disciples, raise up pastors, raise up evangelists, raise up other uh, callings in the ministry, nurturing them, teaching them, expounding their callings and by teaching and discipleship. discipleship. So discipleship is an, a, a program designed by heaven and put in the hearts and minds of the apostles to carry in the whole body of Christ in the nations of the earth. That is how powerful apostles are in the church. That is how responsible they are. Disciples are made by the apostles. They have to make up followers of Christ, followers of the kingdom of God. They have to, to, to clear the air 
and make sure that people are discipled, made disciples, students of the kingdom, graduated under discipleship for the kingdom of God. This is the mission of the apostles. And then they told them, baptizing them into the name of the Father and the, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them. Apostles teach. They don't just do miracles. You cannot lie to me that because I'm doing miracles days, day and night, because I'm healing the sick and I'm resurrecting, uh, resurrecting the dead, so I'm an apostle. Don't lie to the church. Don't lie to yourself. Apostles are given a deep ministry of teaching. In other words, they have two in one. And I'll tell you more. There are preachers of the kingdom of God. They are disciple makers. They are teachers of the word. Teach them to observe everything. They teach everything that Jesus ought to teach the church. The apostles teach everything that was ever to be taught to the church by Jesus Christ. Teach them everything that I have commanded you. Apostles have commands. They are commanded. The calling of apostles is a command. So tell them whatever I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you all the days, perpetually, uniformly, and on every occasion to the very close end consumption of the age. Amen. So let it be. How dare you say there are no apostles? How dare you sell handkerchiefs, sell anointed water, sell some, eh, some water, sprinkling? Then you say you're an apostle. How do you sell Trousers, anointed pens, you sell them, anointed water. Then you dare say, I'm an apostle. Stop such foolishness in the house of God. Stop it. Or else, just do it because you are called of the enemy, not Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the option. You either continue with it because you are not called of this mission of Christ. But if you stop it and change, that means you are called by God. Exactly. They are teachers of all things, everything that Jesus ever taught. They are deep teachers of the word and the, the kingdom of God. So if you sit under an apostolic ministry, it's not just the agenda of miracles, signs, and wonders, which I'm not against. I'm a miracle performer. God has used me to change people, to heal, deliver, cast out demons, raise up people who are going to die. I have seen God use me to take people from the intensive care units. I remember in Shinyanga, I remember I commanded a girl who was assigned to the ICU before he went, she went. I commanded by phone call that let that girl be restored. And she went back to school. No more I see you. So I'm not against miracles. But what I'm saying, apostles are not just for miracles, signs and wonders. That is part of, that's, that's the confirmation of the ministry of Christ. Nothing wrong with that. But the responsibility is what I'm talking about. Teachers of everything that Jesus ever taught. These are the apostles. So if you have apostles in the church, you have a very deep teaching ministry. Deep, 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 deep rooted teaching ministry. Very deep. These are the apostles of Christ. Not these ones who are lying to you. Selling some anointing, selling some water here, selling some bottle of oil, selling some handkerchiefs, selling. And then they tell you we are apostles. These are con men. And liars, not from Jesus Christ. I speak as a prophet of God. We can't lie to each other when the Messiah is really coming back to take who, where. We are to be serious with these matters. 
the kingdom of God is near. God bless you. Amen.